Hi, Michael from Invarian here, and welcome to the video outlining what's new in Rapid Plan Online. We've made a number of improvements in recent months, including, among other things, new tools, overhauling the process for saving plans, and optimizing the functionality of the user interface. Let's start with some changes in setting up your plan. As you're locating your work area on the map and beginning to create your plan, you can now adjust the map bearing or rotate the map so that it fits better on a portrait or landscape oriented page. To do this, click on the base map setting in your layers palette and then use the slide bar or the up and down arrows to adjust your plan scale like so. Please note that we recommend adjusting the map bearing before adding any objects to your plan, as your plan objects are on a separate layer from the map and will not move with it when you rotate the map. Additionally, you can now adjust your plan scale in Rapid Plan Online. Adjusting your plan scale will affect the size of all plan objects in relation to the map. If your work zone is spanning a large area, increasing your plan scale will allow your plan objects to remain visible on the final plan page whereas a smaller plan scale may result in plan objects appearing too small to read once you capture the entire area on a single page. To adjust the scale, click the Yes Adjust button in the dialog box at the bottom of your window. Here, we see some example plan objects on the map to give us an idea of how large our plan objects will appear in relation to the map. We see a drop-down field here with some preset scale options and indications of what scopes of work are most suitable for this scale. And we also have the ability to enter a custom scale or use the up and down arrows to adjust it to our needs. Once you've found the scale that you would like to use, just click Done. For our users in New Zealand, you will notice that we've also included Land Information New Zealand, or LINS, as a new base map provider. At the top of the Layers palette, you will now see a wrench icon where you can hide or show the red location pin in the center of your screen. We've recently improved the interface for users on cell phones. Previously, the palettes on the left and right sides of your screen could be hidden to make more room for designing your plan, but you no longer need to do this. Now, all palettes have been moved to a menu bar at the bottom of your screen, with one palette showing at any time and the option to toggle between them at the bottom of the screen. For desktop users, we've made the options for hiding the palettes on the left and right sides of your window more intuitive. Instead of a wrench icon and a pencil icon in the top right corner, you now have arrows along the top of the window here and here that can be clicked to minimize or expand those palettes. The Scratchpad palette now has the option to add tabs to provide for better organization of your frequently used objects. To add a tab, simply click the plus sign here and label your new tab. Please note that when adding this object to your Scratchpad, you will not be asked to select the tab under which you'd like to save it. It will simply save to whichever tab you currently have selected. If you've saved something in the wrong tab, simply right click on it in your Scratchpad and hover over move to another page, and then select the appropriate location. We've also overhauled the saving process for Rapid Plan Online. Plans will still save automatically, and you can hover over this icon to see the current save status and verify if your plan is still being saved or is currently up to date. The most notable change is that we've introduced local backups in the event that there's a disruption in your connection. Upon reopening your plan, if Rapid Plan Online notices that there is a local backup with further edits than the most recently saved version in Invariant Cloud, you'll be asked if you'd like to restore the plan from your local backups. You can click on the status icon to view saved versions of your plan and restore a previous version. While you still have the Import Image feature under the Primitive section in your Tools palette, you can now import images by dragging and dropping them directly onto your plan. Text can now be edited inside an object group without having to ungroup it first. While you may still want to ungroup a sign or object group to add significantly more text, smaller edits can easily be made by selecting a sign or object group and then choosing Edit Text from the Context menu, like so. 
This is especially helpful when editing speed or distances listed on signs, or if you have a custom title block and want to change the notes without ungrouping it. A number of new tools have been introduced to Rapid Plan Online in recent months. In the road tools, a roundabout tool has been introduced, as well as a bicycle lane tool. In the markers category, we have four new tools, a callout box, an arrow text tool, a scale marker, and a VMS board. In the primitive category, we now have a marked path tool and a path text tool. Lastly, we've made a couple of adjustments to printing and exporting. We discussed the introduction of print regions in the previous update video, and you will now see a blue preview box around your red print region. As we discussed in the last video, print regions define the area on your plan to be captured when exporting or printing the final document. Print regions are then fit onto the chosen page size in your print options so that the whole print region appears. The blue preview window shows what else will be captured on the final document, given your current print region orientation and chosen page settings in the print options screen. For example, let's add a print region to our plan. The print region starts out in a landscape style, while the default page size is in portrait. What we see is that the whole print region is included on the page, but much more space above and below the print region is also captured. If we click on our printer icon and adjust our page orientation to landscape in the print options, then close that window, we now see that the print region takes up much more of the final page. As we've previously discussed, Print regions can be controlled by clicking and dragging the blue control points in the upper left and bottom right corners. This page preview feature allows users to more accurately place their plan notes along one of the margins of the plan. We'll open up the print options screen now to take a look at the second adjustment. As existing users may know, you can adjust the plan area captured on your final document here by clicking and dragging your plan or zooming in and out. If you find that the zoom levels when scrolling your mouse wheel up and down are either too far or not far enough, you can now finely tune the zoom level here. Desktop and laptop users will see this slide bar to the right of their print preview automatically, while touchscreen users can enable fine-grained zooming by clicking this pink magnifying glass icon. This concludes the recent changes in Rapid Plan Online. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest here at Invarian.